This video helps students in ISP 100, writing for university and beyond, develop a keyword search strategy for their genre analysis assignment. We'll be using the library's keywords worksheet, which you can download from the link in the description below. Before you start finding sources for your genre analysis, you need to brainstorm keywords. Keywords are the words or phrases that describe the concepts in your topic or research question, and the right ones will give you better search results. The first step is writing down your research topic or question. We'll use an example about misinformation and social media. Let's say that our chosen text is an anti-vaccination post in a Facebook group. One of the questions we might ask is, how important is ethos in Facebook posts containing misinformation? Once we've written down our question, we'll circle our keywords. It's very important to remember that not every word in our question is a keyword. If we type the whole question into a search box, the results will be unstructured and confusing. In our example, the words how, important, is, in, and containing are not good keywords because they don't get at the concepts in our question. Posts is also not a good keyword because this is already implied in the term Facebook. The words that are left, ethos, Facebook, and misinformation, are good keywords because they describe the main concepts of our question. Now that we've figured out our keywords, we'll move on to the next step, where we'll list our keywords in the left column and brainstorm some synonyms or related terms. These are important because search systems will not automatically include them. For example, if an article doesn't mention misinformation, but does mention fake news, it won't show up in our results. When you're brainstorming synonyms and related terms, try to think of other words to describe your idea. Let's try adding some related terms. We'll add rhetoric to the first line, and disinformation and fake news to the last line. Facebook is a unique term, so we don't need to add anything to that line. It's always worth spending a minute to come up with some synonyms and related terms to make sure you don't miss something important. Now that we've come up with our keywords and related terms, we can move to the last step of the worksheet, where we create a search string using Boolean operators, AND and OR, and special characters. Creating a search string this way gives you more control over your search than just typing in all your keywords. You'll get more of the results you want, and fewer of the results you don't. To start, we'll put our first keyword, ethos, in the top row. We'll put our other keywords on the other rows. Then, we complete the table with the synonyms and related terms we brainstormed earlier. It's very important that we enter our synonyms and related terms in the same row as our keywords. We use AND to connect our concepts together. Our search results must include the terms from each line. We use OR to give alternatives to our first term. If a misinformation does not appear, fake news is okay. If you'd like to learn more, check out the links in the description below for our Searching with Boolean Operators guide. The last part of creating our search string is using special characters. Quotation marks search for a whole phrase, like fake news. This way, the database will only bring back results that use both words in that order. We don't want to see articles about fake leather. Truncation lets us search for different variations of a term. For example, instead of rhetoric, we can search for R-H-E-T-O-R followed by the truncation symbol. This searches for rhetoric, rhetorical, rhetorician, etc. The most common truncation symbol is the asterisk. Now that you've completed the worksheet, you're ready to start your search. Check out the next video, ISP 100, Part 2, Locating Sources, to learn how this works and start exploring your sources. If you need help, visit our website to connect with your liaison librarian, or reach out to our reference team. You can chat with us online from our homepage, join our drop-in Zoom room, or email us at askutml.utm at utoronto.ca. Thanks for watching!